In everyday life, there is more than meets the eye. To reach the depths of truth, we must drag the waters. This is actually the second time I just recorded the fucking audio, so this is gonna be annoying having to repeat myself because I was talking with the mic muted by accident. What's going on, everybody? It's your host, Frank. And just like always, I'm back with another video. This video is about this whole team that was camped in this room on infection, this house. Later on in the game, they get overrun, then they switch over to the church. This video is about the black hat and why it should be allowed to hack through walls. Shit like this. The EMP grenade does not penetrate walls. I was the only guy that was taking out their equipment. There's me right there. I'm running around with a wrench. I just got done a couple minutes ago running around with a wrench. This gameplay is three, two, four days old. So yeah, you see, they got trophy systems everywhere. I thought my camping strategy on Black Ops 2 was bad. And no, the camping strategy I'm talking about, it was created by Black Worm. If you want to find him, just type up Black Worm Hijacked Black Ops 2. If you don't know what the Worm Squirm is, it's basically you put a shield down. The Assault Shield Black Ops 2 is what I'm talking about. You put the shield down with a shotgun or any weapon, sit behind it with claymores and trophy systems. I did that with the Remington and the S12. I switched back between because the Remington was really inconsistent for me. Other people like D2 World Live or Cannabis King knew I'd do this. Or Cannabis King if you don't know who he is. He is uh, Juggalo Nation 420 on YouTube if you want to find him. So yeah, this whole team is just sitting up here. We end up losing. You'll see the score later. I'm just flying around free camp showing you all what they're doing. There's me again. You'll see the black cat right here. Yep. I don't know what I was doing here. I threw a C4 like a dipshit. Got two of them in the corner. That guy laying there with a shotgun, that guy's laying there with a haymaker. <sighs> you campers, you team campers, are one of the reasons why Team Deathmatch is annoying to play. Not the main reason, but one of the main reasons. I get f look at this shit. That guy with the fucking VMP that was just jumping everywhere. He turned on kinetic armor. I don't know if y'all didn't see, but he turned on kinetic armor right there. I put three shots into him with a breggy. That's how I knew he was using kinetic armor. Plus, I could see the shiny shit all over him. So, yeah. Right here, I end up getting shot through a corner. Well, shot through a wall, rather, by a haymaker, I think. Yep. They're camping with hives and shit. I mean, the one thing they could have done that would have made this even worse is camp with a guardian. Or sentry guns. Just hold down an entire room. But no, they're just using the guns. They're not using anything else. They actually get a service here later on in the game. And I take that shit out within two seconds. Why? Because I'm using gravity spike. I use gravity spike a lot. And because Treyarch lacks gun damage in their games, I end up dying in there because I couldn't get the third shot on the guy. Because the break he shoots too slow. You ever seen a shotgun that does a one hit in close range? I have. It's all the shotguns in Black Ops 1. They one shot in close range, but a lot of times they get, 
They just gave me head markers. Just look at this shit. I did say they went in the church. Then they got sworn, kicked out of the church. They go back in the house. They get kicked out of the house again. Then they go to the church. And that's the last time that they move. And you can probably guess the only one that was putting in effort was me. My teammates were running in like complete idiots. Me, on the other hand, I was just focusing on the equipment. Because campers... Don't focus on the camper. Focus on his equipment. So yeah, this is an example why the black hat should be able to hack through walls so we can get rid of these trophy systems. Because trophy systems are kind of overpowered when a whole team is using them. And believe it or not, this is in fact an entire party. To this day, I'm still trying to get in the lobbies. I have a class especially designed for that shit. It consists of flat jacket with... No, not flat jacket. It consists of gravity spikes with... Not a shotgun, but yet a shiva. So I can take them on from a distance. With a uh, high caliber, so I can just pop them once in the head. And that's the only gun I'll be using with it. I have EMP grenades, too. Because when I see the uh, trophy system through walls, if it's thin enough, I'll just shoot through it. But, a case like this where you can't, how are you going to get rid of the trophy systems? They didn't think this through. You throw an EMP grenade, that shit's just going to go away. Because of the trophy system. I think I end up coming through the door. I fucking swarmed. I debated on leaving this game, but I figure I'm just gonna record this later, so I might as well not even bother leaving because it might not save the entire game. And I wanted to get you all the entire game. Now let's switch on to my point of view. I run up here. I try and take out that second guy, but because pitiful gun damage, I couldn't. And KOM. Look, there's a Cerberus. Count how many seconds. Hey, buddy. I bet that guy was pissed off when his Cerberus got destroyed. You may notice in the kill feed, I got killed by a gun and he got killed by a trip mine. You people who put trip mines on walls, stop putting them on walls. Because people like me can get past them easy. If you put it on the right side of the wall, if you put it on a wall that's to my right, I'll just hug the wall and slide uh, across it. If it's on the roof, I'll just jump and glide on the roof. If it's on the ground, I'll just crouch and walk. Trip mines are so easy to get past. There are no 77, my team, 100, their team. Now let's switch and see what they've been doing. Look at this dumb motherfucker right here. He is so stupid that he didn't even notice that his two boys, one was probably a girl, but who cares, got owned. And the only reason he lives is because he had a shotgun. only two of them. One of my teammates had a banshee, but he sucks. He couldn't do shit. Oh, the guy with the shotgun on the floor is dead. And now I go again. Pitiful gun damage. I fast forwarded a little bit just so I can uh, make this a little bit more shorter. Oh, no. I didn't fast forward it. I rewinded it. I'm still on the hunt to find a gun that can outgun anything. So far, the only guns that can outgun other guns is a VMP. Inbound. 
Cerberus. That's dead. That's one of the reasons I use gravity spikes too, is because a lot of my teammates don't use cold blooded or just anything in general that's useful. They're usually using shit like fucking fast hands or something. Something useless. The only thing fast hands has to offer is the fucking uh, getting your gun up quicker. Which isn't really that much faster unless you have an SMG. It's best effective with SMGs and pistols. A as you see above the window, there is a trip mine above it. Once again, don't put your trip mines like that. You want to put your trip mines upside down. Nobody will be expecting it. If it's on the wall, they're really easy to get by. I get by them all the time. The fucking trip mine ain't gonna kill shit unless someone's stupid enough to jump up that way. As you see, here's the scoreboard right here. Peace out.